How's it going guys? I am soaking wet. I am soaking wet. I just got the hose popped on me. Um, so I'm really wet. Um, but I want to plant up around the pond that you guys just saw me put in. So I've got three different plants and I'm excited for them. Um, one of them is a foxglove and it's the Camelot Lavender and it blooms on its first year. So I don't have to wait. If you don't know most uh, foxgloves, they bloom second year, but the Camelot variety, they bloom first year. So this is a six pack of them and all of them are gonna go back around this pond. This was $9 for six of them, which I really feel like is a really good price. Um, I see ones, I mean, they're obviously much bigger than this that I see in the stores and they'll go for like $10 a piece. So if I can get six of them for $9, that's a pretty good deal. The next thing, ooh, just knocked that over. The next thing that I have is something that I fell in love with. I fell in love with this a couple years ago when we went to the botanical garden in Mendocino. So this is called Honeywort and this is Kiwi Blue. This is the exact variety that we found up there. And it is so pretty. Um, let me show you the blooms on them. They're these little like delicate, so they're these like blue little dangly things and the bees really do love them. Um, it gets about 24 to 28 inches high and 18 inches wide. I grew some last year. I actually have some seeds soaked. Oh, I have the hiccups, great. Oh shoot. I have some seeds soaking right now of this exact variety and I'm really excited for those also. Um, also the foxglove, it gets about 36 to 48 inches tall and 24 to 30 inches wide. Um, and so those are gonna get sprinkled in this back area. And so this bulge weed, this was a $5 plant. Um, kind of expensive, I think, um, especially for just one single plant, five bucks. I just can't believe the prices of plants anymore. It's, it's crazy. That's why I start so much stuff from seed. Uh, but when I saw them and I saw it at a good size, I just, I couldn't resist. Um, then the last thing that I got is Lamium. This was $9 for one plant, but look how beautiful that is. And they get really pretty, like dainty blue spikes on them. Um, they are a drought tolerant, deer resistant, clay, coastal tolerant, hanging basket plant. And this one's non-invasive, but I just love the silver color of this. And I'm gonna plant this pretty close to the pond. Um, and it's a semi evergreen ground cover. Um, and it says that it has larger flowers on this variety. So that's pretty exciting. So I've got, technically I've got six, seven, eight plants to plant around the pond. So let me show you guys where I'm gonna put all of these. Okay, so at the pond, this is the, uh, the lamium and that's gonna go right in front here, just like that. And that'll spread and take over and kind of get to the edge all the way around this pond. This is the honeywort. Look at how cool those like dots are on the, the petals. This is gonna go back here on this side to give some interest. And then these fox gloves, because I've got six of them. I plan to put three of them in a little triangle grouping right back there. And then I'll plant three of them right here in a little triangle, leaving room still for the grass. And then I have dahlias at each one of these trellises that grow. Um, and then I lash them to this trellis that grows up along the shed here. So this area should be totally decked out. And I think that that'll be really nice. That lamium will help cover some of the edge of that. And then I'll probably try to find another ground cover also for back there. So I have some plant tone and that's gonna go in the holes of each one of these plants. Oh gosh, look at how that just like shines back here. It's so exciting. Um, yeah, so I've got my auger and my plant tone and I'm just gonna go ahead and just start digging some holes. So I'm gonna try to be careful to not get dirt in the pond. Going really slow with this. Okay, so that hole's dug. Let's dig this hole also. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna grab a little handful of the plant tone, pop that into that hole there. Gross. And then another handful to right back here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna pop this guy out of its container. It's got some really good roots. And then pop that just like that. First plant around the pond is in. And then the same thing for this lamium. Just love the silver color of these leaves. All right guys, that is so exciting to actually have some more plants in the ground back here. This is gonna be such a beautiful area this coming springtime. And I think while I'm back here, I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize these trees a little bit. So I'm just gonna throw a couple handfuls at the base of each of these. And the shrub back there. also around the base of this hydrangea. So I'm really happy with how this space back here is turning out. I just need one more plant, and that'll be the black stocking penstemon, penicetum, can't remember. I'll pop a picture up of it and the correct name. I can never remember. Um, but just that one more plant back here, and I think this area is pretty much done. It's wrapped up. I've got the dahlias that are planted in, now the foxglove, and that'll come back every single year for us. Um, the lamium, which is our ground cover, the bulge weed. The bulge weed is just an annual, um, at least in our area. I've never seen it come back. So I'll just, I'll just grow it from seed every year. That's fine by me. <laughs> um, but I'm really, really happy with how this pond little area has turned out. I didn't have anything planted back here in September of last year. So this is an extremely new flower bed. You saw I fertilized those trees, those two birch trees, actually these guys right here. Uh, these came bare root uh, last year and they were about that big. So they haven't put on any growth uh, size wise the last year or this year yet. They should put on some growth this year, but I am just like shocked that they came that large bare root. I've got two other ones that we bought bare root and they were not that big and they're, they're not even close to that big and they've been in the ground for two years. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.